Hi, I'm Rick. Let's talk a little bit about Bitcoin Legacy BTC having this huge network effect and therefore being almost impossible to unseat as the number one cryptocurrency or crypto asset since it's no, no longer a cryptocurrency because you can't use it as a, as a currency. Let's talk a little bit about this network effect that is so mythological and so immense. The network effect is something that comes from Metcalfe's law. It was a device in around the time of the uh, beginning of the Ethernet. And it states that the value of a network is proportional to the square of the number of users connected to that network. The key word in this context is users. Users. Because Bitcoin legacy BTC is bloody impossible to use, isn't it? Even the Bitcoin legacy BTC community states that if you want to use Bitcoin, you shouldn't be using Bitcoin legacy. You should be using something else. I've never seen such atrocious business sense. They should go to Harvard Business School and apologize. It's like... What these people in the Bitcoin legacy, BTC community, are doing is basically looking at when to sell. They're fixated extremely on the price, when to sell, when to hodl. Everybody's hodling. And if you're just hodling, you're not doing much with your Bitcoin legacy tokens, are you? You're storing them in a closet somewhere to take out at an opportune moment to buy that bloody Lambo. That is not what using means. That does not contribute anything at all to the network effect. That does not create a network effect at all. The network effect is characterized by pain of leaving the network. If I'm leaving Twitter, if I'm leaving Facebook, then my utility goes down sharply because I can't join another network and get a reasonable substitute since I'm also leaving a number of users of that, that network behind. The net effect of just hodling Bitcoin legacy, BTC, is a number of people boasting about having MySpace accounts. But of course, they never log into the MySpace accounts because it's bloody unusable, isn't it? And so this community actually tells itself that, no, you shouldn't be using my, MySpace if you want social media. If you want to use it for something, you should be using Facebook and then revel in how great it is to have a MySpace account. Revel in how great it is to be hodling Bitcoin Legacy, BTC, which is completely, completely unusable for anything. What Bitcoin Legacy ha does have going for it is brand recognition and first mover advantage. Six Degrees was unseated by Friendster, was unseated by MySpace, was unseated by Facebook. A first mover advantage is not a guarantee to be the eventual winner. And brand recognition, well, there is another fork of Bitcoin now, Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin BCH, which dates all the, way, all the way back to the Genesis block, just like Bitcoin Legacy BTC. And frankly, has a lot more going for it in terms of usability. So just to dispel this particular myth, and we'll be returning to this nonsense about hodling later, but just to dispel this particular myth, Bitcoin legacy, BTC, has exactly zero network effect because the pain of selling your Bitcoin tokens and leaving other people behind holding their network tokens is absolutely zero because you're not interacting with them. You're not using Bitcoin legacy. You're not in any reasonable meaning of the word connected to the other users of that network. The network effect is zero.